tired of paying retail prices for a Pokemon TCG? Then go to ccgcastle.com where you can find packs under $3 a piece, as well as Elite Trainer Boxes, Booster Boxes, and more at great prices. Use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 and save 5% off your next order. What's up, guys? And here and today, I'm happy to show you all the very first deck profile slash battles that we're going to be doing for the new standard season. And the deck I picked today is going to be the Zygarde deck. Now, Zygarde GX himself is a little bit older, came out in Forbidden Light, but we got some cards in the new Unified Mindset that really help out this deck a lot. So, a bit of a quick reminder for those of you who have not seen Zygarde GX before, he is a 200 HP basic fighting type with three attacks, first one being Cell Connector, double colorless, but, well, two colorless, we don't have double colorless in standard right now. Does 50 damage, and you attach two fighting energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So it's a good way to accelerate energy from the discard to get off the bigger attacks much quicker. Second one's Lands Wrath 130, standard stuff, and Verdict GX is the big one here. Now it does 150, and you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Pokemon GX and EX during your opponent's next turn. Now there's a couple of unique things about Zygarde that I've always really, really liked. And I'll get into those in a minute. But first, I want to show you guys the new cards that comes with it. So this one right here is Zygarde, just the dog form. And the ability is for cellular companions. Now, this is the big one right here. This is the one that really helps out Zygarde. As long as Pokemon is on your bench, your Zygarde and Zygarde GX's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So he's essentially a Deancey for Zygarde, which is really, really amazing. And I'm running three of it. You can run four of it, too. I notice that's what a lot of people are doing. But I'm running three of this one, and I am running one copy of this Zygarde here. Now, Earth and Aura is the ability that damage from this Pokemon is affected by weakness or resistance. So it's a double-edged sword there. Like, it's awesome that resistance isn't applied, but it's not the greatest that we can't apply weakness. And he has one attack here, Peacemaker. Does 30 damage, and if your opponent has an Ultra Beast in play, this attack does 30 more damage. Now, 60 for a single fighting, plus all the ways we have to boost it. This makes it a really hard-hitting one prize, one energy attacker. And that's really, really good considering how Ultra Beasts are still played in decks. So I thought this would be a cool little tech. But if you want to just go with the four of this Zygarde, that is also perfectly fine as well. And speaking of tech Pokemon, I've got quite a few in here. First one being one copy of the Mewtwo and Mew. Perfection perfection with the ability. Oh my god, his ability is amazing. It did very well at Worlds. So that's enough proof right there. Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX on your bench or in your discard pile. Still needs the necessary energy. We don't worry about the GX attack here because we don't run any second energy. But being able to apply Zygarde's attacks as well as for a Psychic type is really, really good. So we have Fighting and Psychic coverage with that. And next up here for my attacks is going to be Marsh Shadow and Machamp. Now, all of its attacks are pretty decent. Revenge. 30, and if a Pokemon, Pokemon was knocked out during the next turn, it does 90 more damage. So it does 120 plus all the boosts we get from fighting. 100 blows impact, 160 plus, again, any of the boosts we get. Because even though we don't have choice ban, fighting does still have ways to boost itself, which is really, really cool. And Acme of Heroism, which we can still use this GX move even if we're trying to go for Zygarde's. Which I'll explain that in a minute. So, two fighting and a colorless, 200, and this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached to it. If this Pokemon would be knocked out... By damage from an opponent's attack, it's not knocked out and its remaining HP becomes 10 instead. So it's almost like a verdict, but it still takes damage, but it's guaranteed to survive. So that's really, really awesome right there. And of course, we do run the one copy of Deancey. Princesses cheers as long as the Pokemon's on your bench. Your fighting Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage. Really, really good. So essentially, we are running four copies of the Zygarde here. Essentially. But if you make this one a cellular and you're running five copies of it and five ways to boost it up, Granted, you're not gonna always have you're not gonna have five on the bench plus a Zygarde GX inactive. That's really not realistic, but it's something that is possible. And I am of course running two copies of the Dene. Dene Charge is just too too good. Not to mention it helps gets the energy in the discard pile for Zygarde to use his attacks. And honestly, I almost forgot to mention the Boost Fang attack here. Wow, I can't believe I almost forgot that. So it's essentially a mini version of the Zygarde GX. It does 20 damage and you attach a fighting energy from a discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So I think it's pretty cool that it applies to any Pokemon that's not specific. But yeah, that's essentially a baby version of this. And now we have a lot of new goodies here to work with. First one being Cherish Ball. 
Search your deck for a Pokemon GX and add it to your hand. Don't even have to discard or anything, which is amazing. We are running four copies of Custom Catcher. Just too, too good for its second effect, being able to bring out something. Plus, its first effect could come in handy, too. Being able to draw until you have three when your hand's low, or if this is the final card in your hand, it could come in handy. We are, of course, running four copies of Pokegear. The search for our supporters. Four copies of Pokemon Communication, because these are really our real only ways of searching Pokemon right now. There is another one, um, Myst Mysterious Treasures, which that would only apply to Mewtwo and Mew, which to me that's not worth running. But you reveal a Pokemon in your hand, put it on top of your deck, and you search your deck for a Pokemon and add it to your hand. So you give a Pokemon and you get a Pokemon. So really, really good there. I am running also two copies of Reset Stamp. Your opponent shuffles their hands to your deck and they draw a card for each remaining prizes. It's more good for late game if they've taken a lot of prizes on you, but early game it can be good as well because Back in the old days, when you end your opponent, you could have potentially just ruined their whole game. I do run two copies of Switch here, because most things here have a pretty big retreat cost. Four copies of Martial Arts Dojo. It's one of the new supports we got from Unbroken Bond, actually. So yeah, it's not the newest, newest one, but it's still pretty new. The attacks of non-Ultra Beast Pokemon that have any basic fighting energy attached them do 10 more damage. And if the attacking player has more prize cards than their opponents, those attacks do 40 more instead. So it basically applies as long as you have the basic fighting energy, so... This can even boost up the Mew to a Mew, which is really, really awesome. And we are running one copy of Viridian Forest just to help get out our basic energies, especially if you pitch a basic energy to get a basic energy, really helps the acceleration from your discard. And now we're gonna get into the unique part of Zygarde EX. We have Bonnie here. Now, as for Bonnie, this is kind of like the whole thing that, if you guys have watched my past videos, I've always talked about like a reset button for GX attacks. Zygarde is currently the only GX with that, and this is it right here. So you can, pl you can only play that there's a stadium card in play. You discard a stadium card, and during this turn, your Zygarde GX can use its GX attack, even if you've already used your GX attack for the game. So this is essentially a reset for Zygarde, so you can just keep doing it again and again. So real, so like the ideal play here is to use your Acme of Heroism first, in case you are fighting something that does like massive damage that can knock it out, and then you go for the Bonnies, and then you use your Zygarde's moves from there. So that's the purpose of that reset button right there. We're also gonna be running three Cynthia, three Lily, one copy of Lieutenant Surge, just because it would really come in handy if we're back behind the game. We could use a Bonnie and a Draw Supporter, to just really help us out. Gonna be running two copies of Choice Helmet, just because reduced damage is always nice. Two copies of Karate Belts, and this is also a new one from the set Unified Minds. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of this Pokemon cost one fighting less. So essentially, if you're if you have more prizes, your Lands Wrath or Verdict are just three energy, so that can really really come in handy. Your Boost Fang is free, so that's awesome right there. And this does not apply just to specifically to fighting Pokemon, it just says it reduces it by a fighting. So, the Mewtwo Mew would be reduced as well, just anything that could use a fighting attack would be reduced. So that's really, really cool. And we are running 11 basic fighting energy. Just because we need quite a bit, because we no longer have double colas. Alright guys, so there, that goes it for the deck profile, now let's get right into the battles. Alright guys, game number one here, we're going to be facing against Pure Water. Hmm. Then again, Water Box has gotten quite a bit of support with the Keldeo, so this might be what we're facing. I'm going to assume Keldeo, but there's quite a few other things we could be facing up against as well. Oh, that was close. I was really scared that we were going to start with a Dedenne, but then Zygarde came here, so good times. Looks like I am going to have to play that Dedenne, though, unfortunately, because there's just not really much we have here to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and test return. This is Lapras. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may put a Misty Sphere card from your discard pile into your hand. Hmm. Nice. Um, I don't want to... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and reset Stamp. Because we could potentially mess them up. Go ahead and play a Martial Arts Dojo. You know what, why not? We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do the Dene. Hate to pitch those two, but you know we gotta get our stuff set up. 
All right, so let's go ahead and bench the Zygarde. We'll go ahead and Cherish Ball for two new, or which one do I want, actually? Um, you know what? We'll go with the Mewtwo Mew. Let's go for Pokegear. Yes, we do have our Lily. We're gonna go ahead and play Lily for five in total. Oh, how I wish, how I wish I didn't already play that Martial Arts Dojo. That could just Viridian Forest into something and, uh, oh, we can do it next turn. It's no biggie. And that is going to be it. Not much more we can do. Oh, I would have really helped if we had a Pokemon communication in hand. Then we could just like, either just put away the Dedenne and just get it back next turn with a Cherish Ball. And did I just see? Yes, I did. Ugh. Then again, I'm not too surprised. This did actually make somewhat of an appearance of Worlds as well. Actually, I believe it was somewhat decent of an appearance. So I don't know why my first assumption was Keldeo. All right, so pitched a Lily, so that was a bit interesting. There goes the Misty's favor. Oh, wait, wait, how did I say pitch to Lily? No, he played Lily. Uh, what's wrong with me? All right, so now we got the Pokemon communication. So I'll go ahead and put back the Dene because I don't want to play the Dene right now. Let's get a Zygarde. Hmm. As much as I hate to bounce my own stadium, it's kind of important that I do that. So, pitch that. Test the Zygarde GX. We'll go ahead, Boost Fang. 40. Attached to our bench. And that'll be that. So, so he's going to do 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So, we're going to be knocking out the Lapras for sure next turn with. Cell connector. I have a switch. No, I actually I don't want to play the switch. I actually do want a hard retreat. Because then I can attach that energy back to the Zygarde. And next turn I will just need one more energy to start going for Verdict and Lands Wrath. So what does Misty even do again? I forgot. Search your deck for up to three supporter cards, reveal them, and put them to your hand. Nice. Very nice. And I believe this actually works with supporters. Ditch and Splash. This card, any number of supporter cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you discard in that way. It's a pretty interesting idea, because the Lapras gets back to Misty's. And you have lots of ways to search it. So, uh, yeah. That can actually help. Hmm. I do want to try to start getting damage on the Ditch and Splash, though. The only thing. Let's go ahead and Cynthia. I could have went for the Dedenne, but I really don't want to. Ooh. So we saw we actually don't have the Ansi. Um. You know what, we're fine to discard a Zygarde. Because we still have Mew and Mewtwo and Mew in the deck, and it could still use I mean Mewtwo in the deck, it's right there. Wow. Way to go, in. Alright, so we'll go for another boost fang. Don't have any don't have any fighting energy there, but that's fine. So what I'll do next turn is retreat, use the Viridian Force to search for an energy. I got two custom catches I'll bring up. Bring up Slowpoke here. Go ahead and Verdict. Make myself immune to damage. And then next turn I'll go for the Lion's Wrath for the KO. So, it's all coming together, guys. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh, I apologize. I apologize. I went for memes. 
so it's gonna be like a fan club. It's probably gonna get two Laprases. Yep, called it perfectly. Man, his hand is gigantic, but I know a lot of it's just supports the ditch for Ditch and Splash. But it's all good. It is all good. Energy spinner, so he's gonna search for basic. Okay, he's, so he might be able to attach, retreat, and attack. I actually wonder. I actually wonder if he also has two custom catchers in his hand. Because if so, that's actually pretty bad for us. Then this guy will be knocked out. Granted, I could just attach some stuff to the Mew and Mewtwo. But that's still going to be two prizes that we're behind. Minus the three we could be taking from this. Does he have to discard anything? You discard any number, okay. So he doesn't have to pitch all the supports he has at once. So he's just gonna go into another. Oh, okay. So at the very least, he doesn't have the custom catchers. So that's pretty good. So he's gonna also take advantage of Radiant Forest. Okay, we're good. We are golden. Um, Actually, there's nothing else I really want to get because my other Zy Wait, I believe my other Zygarde's prized. Okay, yeah. The other boost one's prized, and so is the DNC, so it's not much we could really do there. All right, Viridian Force has now lost its purpose. Him up. Go ahead, Lily. And we're gonna go for Verdict GX. We're gonna make ourselves immune to damage. Oh yeah. Then if he tries to retreat, got the Poke Gear. I just need to try to search for a Bonnie. Then I can just get rid of that. Vertic GX again and knock out something. And even, and even if he doesn't, like I can still work around it because I can still protect myself from the Slowpoke here. Wow, I can't believe I'm having to consider this thing a threat. Ew. So what does GX do? Thrilling times 10, flip a coin, this attack does 100 more damage. It's has six extra water energy to it. You can flip 10 coins. Ooh. And it does a hundred more for each heads. Dang. That's like the jankiest thing I've ever seen on a GX attack. And I've, there's some pretty janky GX attacks out there. But that is just the biggest meme. Then again, Slowpoke and Psyduck. What is a meme material about these two? They are the definition of meme material. Alright, that's all still good. So let's see, his retreat cost is two, so he can hard retreat this. Sets him back, but at least it, but at least I don't knock him out as easily. Now, if by some miracle I play a draw supporter and get myself into two more, but that's asking too much. That's honestly asking way too much. My real best bet's just to go for Bonnie. Especially if he attaches an energy this turn. If he attaches no energy, okay, yeah, so yeah, now I definitely have to go for Bonnie. And just really hope it's there. We'll go ahead and attach. We're going to attach him to him just in case. Alright, okay, gear. Yes! So we're going to go ahead and play Bonnie. Allow us to use Verdict GX again. Protecting ourselves again from the Slowpoke Psyduck. Now there will come a point to where he will be able to knock us out with Ditch and Splash. 
But that's alright, because we're going to be setting up our Mewtwo. And we'll be ready. We'll be more than ready for that. Oh, huh, that's actually the first time I'm seeing the ultimate art. It's actually not bad. For a slow poke. But I should be paying attention to how this deck goes, because I know for a fact you guys are going to want me to play this so badly. I can already tell. Not to mention all the comments I saw for the um, massive PTCGO pack opening online. Yeah, so many of you guys wanted me to play this. Alright. Hmm. What I might do here is I might go for the Dedene. Yep. Go for the Dedene. Go ahead, Martial Arts Dojo. Just so it's not a wasted card. That's 40 for each. Touch a choice helmet, because you never know. Maybe it could help. Alright, so we're going to go for the Land's Wrath. Get another prize. Okay, so we only have one in there. But when this if this thing knocks us out, then that's more we're going to get. Or you can just... Bring up this one. No, what I could do is that. What the? Why would I bring up the damaged one? I'm legitimately shocked that he brought up the damaged one. Like, why not bring up the fresh one? What did I just witness here? All right, so he's going for the Lieutenant Surge. Misty's favor. I mean, that all would have been great, especially if he brought out this one, because then I actually might have been in trouble. What? Okay, so if this guy does things right, he'll be able to take two prizes. But when I attack with the Mew to Mew, that's going to be three prizes I get to take. Because even without any boost, I'm doing at least 50 damage. That's exactly what he needs to be knocked out. Guys, what am I seeing here? I have no idea what I'm seeing. So he's going for the addition splash. Choice Ben needs to get to discard a lot of those supporters. You can at least get the Misty's favor backs. I mean, the Misty's favors back. So he does 210. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had to discard quite a few of them. Actually, what I could do? That's 40, 50. Yup. I most certainly can do that. Boost Fang for knockout. With the bench Zygar and the Dojo, that's 50 exactly. So we got our other Zygarde, got a Lily, and we got our Deancey. Man, he practically gave us this. I mean, I've made mistakes like that too from time to time, but that was just such a major one. Like, honestly, had he just promoted this one? This game could have gone pretty big in his favor. Like, that's honestly insane. Hmm. really need to do is see if I can bring if I could get two more catchers to see if I can bring up any of these so then I could just take that for game and for this he doesn't have to discard much oh there's his two let's see does he actually have enough to knock out Mewtwo Mew
Now for this, he has to discard a lot, so 280. Okay, so yeah, that's almost his entire hand he had to discard. But he's getting three cards back, so... Can't exactly say it was too big of a loss for him. Alright, Cherish Ball. Go for this. Deancy. Hmm. Attach that for turn. We'll just go for Cynthia. Yes! Awesome! So we got two custom catchers. Definitely bringing up this Volcanion. Three retreat. Oh, yeah. He's not getting rid of that easily. So. All depends on what my opponent's got here. My opponent has the switch, then he wins. If he doesn't have the switch, then I win. Actually shaking a little bit here. This is really intense. Literally all boils down to this. All right, so you got the judge. Hapu, look at the top six. Okay, so he's attaching one. Reset stamp. Eesh. But we got into a poke gear with ours. So that's pretty cool. We can just get any draw support, or even if we top deck a fighting energy. Pretty much. Okay, so if we get a fighting energy this turn, we win. And we win! Alright, so we're gonna retreat. And we're gonna 100 blows impact for game. Whew, that was intense. All right, guys, that does it for our game number one here. And with that, we're gonna go straight to our game number two. All right, guys, game number two here. And quite a few interesting combinations of types there we saw. Now let's see, do we win? Honestly, whether we go first or second makes little difference. Because, okay, so we won. Um, do I want to go second? Nah, we want to go first still. Going second's not bad because we can still attack and charge up our energy. But you always do still want to set up first. Alright, oh, good starts. So your opponent had, so he took one mulligan. Okay, so we both just took one mulligan. As far as Pokemon go, this is actually a really good start up here. I'm actually not going to bench him just yet. I want to see what I can top deck. So DNC, do I want to go for another Zygote? It's this one. Okay. Mm, no, what? Yeah, that, one, that one's okay. It's attached. Do I want to, yeah, let's go ahead and play the dojo. And we will go ahead and Cynthia. Ooh, do we want a reset stamp? Is the question. Yeah, let's go for a reset stamp. Let's go try and mess him up. Alright, let's go for a Cherish Ball. Okay, so these two Pokemon are essentially going to be worthless to us this game. So, communication. Put that back. Let's go ahead and get. Another Zygarde here. I am going to be trying to get the other dog Zygarde because since this is Ultra Beast right here, we could already take advantage of it. And as good of a start as... And this is not exactly a bad start either, but he's he shouldn't be able to attack this turn. So that's good. Don't have any fighting in there. Alright, so it's Pika Rums or Aura with... 
actually, no, that makes sense because you attach an energy to the Dawn Wings that Crows win, and you're able to invade your retreat to free. So that makes that does make a lot of sense. Okay, so it looks like we don't have to worry about the whole weakness thing with him after all. So he's using Custom Catcher just to draw one. Sometimes that's all you need, though. Zap does is going to be a little tricky for us, though, because it's like, this is actually one that's resistant to us. Most things here are weak, so that's an easy two prizes. Everything here is going to be, like, not too bad to knock out. So which one is that? That's Tapu Fini. That's another Tapu Fini is also another pretty good tech too. So it's just a hundred a hundred dance for just one. Alright, so I have to butt my own stadium here. Just because I can't pass this up. We need to get our Zygarde ready. Let's go ahead and custom catch it for two. That's two switches we got. That's that could actually come in handy. So go ahead and attach. On the other hand, I can also help him out quite a bit. Zapdos is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with, though, is the only thing. Other than that, if we play everything right, these should all be easy knockouts for us. Alright, so he's going so it's going for the right to a little right to tandem shot. This Pokemon's on the bench beginning after it does eight more. Yeah, this one's pretty good with Pikaram. Alright, so we have a Cherish Ball. Oh wait, no. That's not what I want to do. Um Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and discard a switch. Do we have the two Dene's there? Do we have to play at least one Dene? Just so we can Draw our stuff. Do not have an energy in there. Now let's actually go from well, Martial Art Dojo. Let's go play the Dene. Don't know if I want to bench the Mew Mew too. Um, what I do want to do though is attach. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and chat to Choice Hamilton to the Dene. So that way he can't be one shot at its attack. Uh, do I wanna hit him in YouTube? No, I, I don't think I do. We'll go ahead and draw Lily for two. Okay, so we'll go for Boost Fang. Hopefully next turn we get our fourth fighting energy, then we can verdict something. Really doesn't matter what we verdict as long as we get a verdict, you know? Because that way we can just get the protection. And then from there we can just start taking the knockouts. So honestly, I wouldn't even call a verdict on the Zapdos wasted. Because then the Pika Rom can't do anything to us. Honestly, it can't really do much to us right now. So we are in a pretty good spot. Um, let's see, I could play Lieutenant Surge. You know what? Yeah, why not? It's not going to be wasted anyways. Go for the other Dene. I really don't want to waste one of my two supports on Lily because it's not going to get as much of anything, really. Alright, so we got the fourth fighting energy. Let's go for a communication. I do want to get this Zygarde. Because this one at least will do quite a bit of damage. Can't play weakness to them. But still, it's a one. That's one energy, one prize attack that could do a lot. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh goodness gracious! Whew, luck is on our side. Um, choice helmet. I'm actually once again going to attach to the Dene just in case. 
So I am definitely bringing up that big boy. And we are going to Verdict GX, knock it out, take three prizes. And we do not have to worry about damage from any of his guys next turn. Scratch that. Okay, we do have to worry about Zapdos damage, but the Zapdos is honestly whatever. We could easily deal with Zapdos. Got the Bonnie in hand. We could easily go for another Verdict on the Zapdos if he attacks with it. And then he'll have only GX attackers. And we will be completely fine from those. From them, from those. So, yeah, we're definitely not in any bad position right now. Okay, yeah, I was just reading the alone right you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do any. It doesn't go through anything, so we're fine. So really the most he can do is Zapdos. We went for a reset stamp. Does hurt a little bit because it does get rid of our Bonnie. But <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing all right so i'm gonna go ahead and attach to there go ahead bonnie we'll verdict gx again and yeah we are we're at a really good spot here especially when we get top deck a stadium oh can we so I've had to discard quite a few. All right, it is possible. Little unlikely, but it is gonna be possible. Tandem Shock, oof. It's now paralyzed. Oh, that's right, he only prevents the damage. Ooh, well played. Well played, sir. He'll definitely be able to knock me out next turn. Eh. Maybe a choice helmet on him would not have been a bad idea, but I was worried about the Pikaram. Honestly, that's okay, though, because if worst case scenario, he could just use Lightning, the Lightning Ride GX, and he'd still knock me out anyways. But no, yeah, he definitely wants to boost up the Tandem Shock. Alright, who do I want to pick off? Um, so 40, let's do 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 20, 40, 40 80. Okay, so even. Even without that, this is actually going to be doing the more damage. Now what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So still quite a bit of damage, even though we didn't apply weakness. So basically, unless he gets the lightning, the thunder mountain, and an energy switch, we don't have to worry about him attacking with the peak around this turn. So he'll bring this up. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Wait, he went for the tandem shock? That's surprising. I thought he would have went for Lightning Red. Hmm. Go ahead, get Zygard. Attach. Go for the Boost Fang. Now we have our Zygard loaded up for Cell Connector. It's still going to do a lot of damage. Alright, now does he have Thunder Mountain? Or an energy switch? I 
Or two custom catchers. Wait, no, I don't think he can. Yeah, he's already played three, there's no way. Okay, so yeah, he, he does have Thunder Mountain. Which is 100% fine, because we have Martial Arts Dojo. Not so much a Karate Belt, too. So we could potentially do this. Karate Belt, we're going to go ahead and bump Martial Arts Dojo. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't get the energy to one-shot him. We were really close, though. So it all depends on what my opponent has here. Oh no, wait, he could just do tandem shock. A light ride. E yep. Ouch. Almost had him, but you know what? This is still one of the best decks in the game for a reason. Alright, guys. So that's gonna about do it for our matches here today. Hope you all really enjoyed this. I know I certainly did. I've always really had a soft spot for Zygarde. And yes, as you can see, that's the one standard deck I've built right now. I'm still trying to get... I'm still trying to work on the yellow decks, guys. But for right now, quick, another quick look at the deck list here. Again, it's a really fun deck. Not to mention, with all the boosted stuff you got here, you don't really miss Choice Ban at all. So you're still doing lots of damage to things here. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like, and comment down below. And with that, guys, look forward to a lot more Unify Minds deck profiles here, guys. It's a really, really awesome set. Can't wait to show you what I have in store for you all next. And with that, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time.